thread that up through your under your jumper. And that can just sit like that, and then I'll I'll, I'll clip it onto you. Okay. I'm in a lab in a school in Adelaide in South Australia. The reason why it's so important is that I'm sitting in the place that Brady Harron, our video journalist who makes all the videos, sat when he was a pupil. So imagine the little Brady sitting here looking at that periodic table and thinking, wow, chemistry. This is the very periodic table that Brady sat looking at. And they've still got the same periodic table. You can see some of the exciting elements, hassium and so on, are missing. But that's the one that made him think, what's the periodic table all about? The thing that really puzzled Brady was that there were all these elements, in fact, most of them in the periodic table, that the teacher never mentioned. So what was it all about? And that's why he wanted the videos, so that eventually he could learn what they were all about. But the thing I want to do is to meet his chemistry teacher, the person that inspired Brady about chemistry, Mr. Lauter Dunaisky. But Mr. Dunaisky does lots of things, and every year he takes a group of students to a camp, outdoor camp, teaches them all sorts of things about the outdoors. And again. And Really surprisingly, the very week that we're here in Adelaide is the week that he's in the camp. So we've got to go off to the camp to meet him. And I'm really excited. I want to see what was it that turned Brady on about chemistry. So is this, is this something they will... I was going to do medicine. Yeah. And I chickened out because I was probably age of 12 yeah. and my father and mother, very supportive yeah. parents, they allowed me to take school friends out on camp. Yeah. And by the time I was 20 and yeah. I had to make my choice, I wanted to go to med school, but the other one was a bigger draw card. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. And I thought, well, why not combine the two? And yeah. I became a science teacher, initially biology, yeah. then chemistry, and then I went back to uni and did physics, and that's where and I ended up today. Was that here in Australia? Uh, no, it, it, was, it started all in Africa. I yeah. went to Rhodes University in, yeah. in South Africa yes. and uh, taught in uh, Namibia, in South Africa itself, and then eventually came out here, and that's where I've been ever since. Brady's been telling me that you, that you like doing demonstrations and le <laughs> in lessons, and yeah. many teachers now don't do demonstrations, but well. do you still do them? I do, I do, and I get into considerable trouble for it because I like to blow things up. Yeah. It is my, my, my big ambition to, every year when the painters come through and repaint the splotches yeah. in the labs, to put new ones on the ceiling. Oh. So, yeah, I like, I like my fireworks and my sparkies and so on. Do you remember Brady as a science student? I remember his inquiring mind. He, yeah. he, he was sort of the fascinated student that his eyes were there, they were with you all the time. Those buildings there? Yeah. They are toilets. Yeah. There's a 44 gallon drum underneath yeah. and it never fills up. Uh huh. What? You spot him. Somewhere there. Right at the yeah, top. exactly. Okay, now have you spotted another? We should. Because he was grunting there yeah. just now, so that means there's another one about. We, we have a, a resident family of koalas in this creek here, in the next, uh, and they generally are here, seven of them. Okay, now I'm looking for two things. I'm looking for koalas, but I'm also looking for some orchids. Some may be out. They're called donkey orchids. Martin, have a look at this blue orchid. What a stunning beauty, hey? You want me to give you a hand here? You're okay? When this one dies back in three, four weeks, that's it, and you won't see it until this time next year. So how do you actually inspire your students? What do you do that makes them excited? I do, I do nothing except what's in, in me already. I am fascinated by science. I'm, I've, I've, I've got a passion for, for young people and, and, and science and, and all those things that, that make life possible. And maybe, maybe that has rubbed off or maybe it was in him already and we just clicked. And I think that's probably the case. Oh, Mr. D.